Hey guys, welcome to Rick's Reviews. Today we have a GMYLE Express Card USB 3.0. Alright guys, so this is what came in the mail. This is the package. And inside the package came in this little white envelope. And it, as you can see, it shows the name of the company. It shows the extension and the support. Uh, it says it has a two year warranty. But yeah, this is it. And on the other side, if we open it up, came in the plastic packaging and came with a business card. And in here, you can see, it came with a anti-static packaging so it doesn't get damaged. And so there it is. There's the card, ladies and gentlemen. It's rather small. I'm going to see you guys can see it. So it is an express card, a 34 USB 3.0 card. It has two slots right there. See the back of it there? And the input, the express card area. And this card does work with the MacBook. There is a, some tricks to it, so... If you wanted to make it work very good, it does take a lot of uh, patience to use it, but it is very fast. And compared to my USB 2.0, which drove me crazy, this is a piece of sanity or, you know, peace of mind that you can actually upgrade your MacBook Pro 17 inch to a USB 3. Alright guys, so here's the card here. And here's my little setup here. Um, my MacBook and uh, HP monitor that, that I got from my brother because uh, he went and upgraded to a curved uh, LED display or LCD display. I was thinking about buying the new MacBook Pro which is too expensive um, and I was already gonna pull the trigger and just hey Let's buy a new one. Let's get upgrade the new USB-C. Uh, I was ready because I was tired of using those USB 2.0 ports to, especially to edit videos. It's kind of hard having to transfer those files over to a hard drive over and over and waiting almost two, one hour to an hour and a half trying to get that video in there. So I got tired of it. Uh, either said I'm gonna buy um, the new MacBook Pro. Or I'm gonna get one of these uh, USB 3.0 uh, upgrade. Luckily, my MacBook does have the Express card slot, so I went ahead and I purchased the G M Y L E card on Amazon, and I decided to give it a shot. I've seen some reviews on there. It showed uh, that it work on there. It's just a pain in the butt, so I ordered it, and here it is. So installation is very easy. All you gotta do is slip the card into the slot there. And just go all the way inside. You'll hear it click and then it stops right there. So very easy to install. It's very flush. As you can see, there's nothing hanging out or bolt coming out. So it's very flush, which that made me even more interested of buying it. So let's power the system up. All right guys, so you guys can see we are on the desktop now. And to install this, there is a couple of things you gotta do. You do have to go into the disk utility in the recovery. And the reason why it's because you do have to disable one of the features that the Mac has that protects it in order for you to install the drivers. Alrighty guys, so this is the... We're gonna turn off the system protecting so that way you can install Multi-Beast. So in order for you to use that program, you will have to, like I said, disable the system security. You're gonna go into the system recovery and click on it. And the way you enter that boot option is you're gonna hold down the option key when you turn on your computer. So as soon as you hear the 
the sound, the Mac sound, just hold the option key and the menu will pop up. Alrighty guys, once you're into the Mac OS here, Mac OS uh, Utilities, and so you're going to go to Utilities, go to Terminal, and it'll launch the terminal within the system. And now you got to type in is C-S-R-U-T-I-L space disable. Okay, and then press enter. And then you'll get a little pop-up message that says the that the system has been disabled. So it's successfully disabled system integrity protection. Please restart the machine for changes to take effect. And all you got to do is just go to back to the Mac and put restart. In my case, I already installed the system, so all you got to do is to put it back once you once you already installed the the drivers for the USB 3.0. All you got to do is come back and you're going to type in the same thing, C S R U T I L and put enable. Once you click enable, the sys, uh, you're going to change the system integrity protection. You're going to be it's going to be on again. So that's it. Onto the Mac. And what you're going to need is this program called it's called Multi Beast. And it's all over it's all over the internet now. So this is the guy you need to install. And it's called multi -beast. So once you hook it up, you restart the computer, you're gonna notice this icon here on the top. And it's just telling you the USB controller is on there. And once you install it, you're gonna go to quick start. You will have to boot it up in legacy boot mode. So you're gonna have to click legacy. Okay. You're gonna go to USB, you're gonna put third party USB 3.0. You don't need any, the bootloaders will have this on there. Uh, there's no customization. And then all you gotta do is click on install. Just like so. You agree. Type in your password. And it's gonna do the bootload. So once it installs, it'll show the EFI on the desktop there. Now again, like I said, if you do leave the the system protection on, it will not install. So you got to make sure that you got to take off the protection in order to do this. And then once the installation is done, you can go back into Disk Utility, and you could uh, put it back. You could just put the security back onto the Mac, Mac OS. And we're gonna speed it forward uh, for the magic of camera here. So that way it doesn't take too long. Alrighty guys, now that it's installed, uh, it says install succeeded. You're just going to exit the software here. And you will need to restart the system in order for it to work. Alright guys, well I'll see you on the other side. I'm going to restart my computer there so you guys can see. Alright, see you guys in a bit. So now that you've restarted your Mac, you're going to leave the hard drive plugged in here. So now that it's plugged in, you'll see that my login's back up. I'm going to go ahead and log into the system. And I don't know if you guys noticed that, but on that screen right there you can see that the hard drive is right there right there so you guys can see that's the USB 3.0 and so you guys see that I'm not uh, bluffing here so you guys see that I'm not bluffing let me disconnect my camera from my tripod here
So you guys see that I'm not bluffing. Okay, there is the hard drive on the express lot there, and there's the hard drive. So now what I'm going to do, as you guys can see, I'm going to drag it out to the trash bin to eject it. As you can see, it's being ejected right now. And the good way to tell if it's actually working properly is especially with this hard drive because when it is not connected with USB 3.0 like for example now I'm going to hook it up to the USB the light instead of being blue will turn white so that's uh, that's letting you know that it's in a USB 2.0 configuration as you can see it's loading up there now it's back up on the screen come on camera focus there you go now it's back up on the screen and the hard drive is in white light and it's hooked up to the Mac USBs so now I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna drag it out into the trash bin there as you can see it starts blinking and once it turns off that means that it's been disconnected now we're going to re-plug this back into the new USB 3.0 port right there, plug it in, see the light turns blue and on my MacBook should come up right now, there it is, so blue light, hard drive right there and then we're going to go on the screen so you guys can see how fast it is and I'm gonna do the recording through QuickTime so you guys can see okay the way it looks a lot better than this alright guys as you can see we have our Mac OS loaded after we restarted the computer and you can see the icon for the hard drive is right there so you gotta do a double click and you can see my documents in there and we'll see how fast the system is and we're gonna transfer this video that I just made of my son's uh, toy and from the desktop to the new hard drive as you can see it's a 636 megabyte video and it transferred within a couple of seconds and we're going to do the same thing let me delete it off the trash here so you guys know that I'm not bluffing here and now we're going to put it back into the hard drive See how fast it goes. Near about maybe eight eight seconds or so, it goes right back into my hard drive in my main system from the new USB 3.0 port. So that is what I wanted to do. This is what I this is what prevented me from buying a new MacBook is that I am able to use a USB 3.0 on my MacBook Pro. But uh, you guys want to see a different file? Let me, let me get another file here. Let's get the info on this one. There you go. This one's 1 1.72 gigs. So let's go ahead and transfer this one over so you guys can see. So now uh, 1.72 gigs in a mere maybe 15 seconds or so. So this is terrific. For me, not having to wait such a long time for transfer files, this is amazing. And there it is, back in my hard drive. And let's go ahead and delete this one so you guys can see how fast it goes back. Let's trash it. So let's put, the, put it back into my hard drive right there. Now the transfer rate back to the hard drive. Maybe 10 seconds or so. Boom. That is it, guys. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys are interested uh, in purchasing the USB 3.0 Express Card 34 from Amazon, from Amazon, I will be posting a link in the description below, as well as uh, a link 
to the websites where I got the multi beast. So you guys can install the drivers for the express card. Well, any guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you guys. Um, please comment below if you have any suggestions or any feedback. Or if you need any help, I will be glad to help you. I'll send you a shoot back. Uh, but thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, we'll be posting more videos soon. So tune in. Thank you.